cheesy, delicious mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. You don't want to miss it. Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. potatoes in the Instant Pot, it's the same ingredients as when you're making mashed potatoes in any pot. Potatoes, milk, garlic, I'm using garlic in mine. We'll also have some butter and cheese that we'll bring out in the end. So it's really simple. This is so easy. When I figured this out, we started having mashed potatoes like what felt like every other day. All right, so here's my first secret though, guys, to extra creamy mashed potatoes is Yukon Gold. These Yukon Gold potatoes have a really nice uh, starch level to them that does not let them get as stiff. I don't think that makes any sense, but I'm gonna hope you guys understand. Okay, let me say it differently. Yukon Gold potatoes cook creamier. They cook up creamier than russet potatoes do. Now, russet potatoes work fine as well. You can get a good old mashed potato, from a russet, don't, don't hear me dissing the russet, but I'm just saying, my personal secret for my creamy mashed potatoes that everybody says, oh, your potatoes are so creamy, is this gold russet. No. You guys, you see what happens when I start looking at food I love? I get all tongue-tied and everything. So I'm peeling these, okay, and I'm gonna put them right here in this colander and then I'm going to rinse them just to make sure there's no you know leftover stuff on them. I like using a potato peeler. Don't have to. You can use a knife. My mama always used a paring knife and it worked for years. But you know we fancy now. We got kitchen tools and gadgets and things. All right. Get these peeled up real quick. Now you know you can also have a more rustic potato and sometimes you don't have to Take the peels off, just wash and scrub it really, really good, and you can mash it with the peels, and you have a nice, just a little more rustic potato. You know, the taste is the same, the flavor is the same, it just looks a little different. But, yeah, you know, just for the sake of the kids, we're gonna keep it simple and go ahead and peel these. Now, one more thing, guys, with these potato peelers, some people use them like this, right? You know, I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way, but this way always scares me because I always feel like I'm gonna catch my finger and I don't wanna be messing up my hands like that. So however you use your potato peeler, go ahead on and use it. But those are just my two cents. And this is three pounds of potatoes that we're using today. So guys, our potatoes are all peeled and pretty. I'm going to rinse them off just to make sure they're clean exactly like we want them because we want pretty clean potatoes. So guys, when we're cooking in the Instant Pot, it's timing on the Instant Pot, you have to kind of understand what's going on, okay? So it'll say that we're going to cook these for 10 minutes, okay? But 10 minutes on the Instant Pot is the actual cook time. You have to give the Instant Pot time to come to pressure and then time to release pressure. So you wanna add time on both sides of those, okay? So we're gonna cook these with some milk. I'm using a half a cup of milk. All right, some people do this with just water. You can use plain water, you can use buttermilk, you can use cream, whatever you want, you can use it in there, okay? To that, I'm gonna just put my potatoes in whole. Yes, whole. I know if you haven't done this, you're thinking, how's this gonna work? Trust your girl, it's gonna work, all right? Now, I also like to flavor my mashed potatoes with a little bit of garlic, a little fresh garlic, so I take some fresh garlic cloves, pop those right in there, they will cook with it also and of course, salt. Now I'm gonna put a tablespoon of salt in here, and I know you're thinking, that's way too much salt. Have you had potatoes without enough salt? You know this is okay. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle the salt around. Okay, one tablespoon for now. Okay, I'm gonna take out the lid, close it, make sure it's sealed, on sealed because you don't want it to, you want it to come to pressure, so right now you want it sealed. We're gonna put this on pressure cook, on high for about 10 minutes. Actually, 11 minutes, because we've got a good number of potatoes in there. Let it go do its thing. Remember, give it time to come to pressure, and then afterwards we're going to do the quick release method on our Instant Pot, and she's off. Well guys, our potatoes are done. The Instant Pot has done its final thing. I did a quick manual release, which is where you switch it to the venting side. For all of that, just look in your manual, but switch it there, it'll finish releasing. We're gonna open it up. Now remember, we put cream in here, right? And we had salt and garlic cloves, okay? So, here we go. Now what I want you to notice 
is there's like the cream and stuff that's kind of spread out and melted out. That's what you're seeing, okay? But look at how easy these potatoes mash up. See that, guys? And that's all that flavor in there. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is add some butter. All right, I'm gonna start with about uh, three or four tablespoons. There will be more, <laughs> okay? Now, I like mine rustic, okay? To get this mitten on, because it's hot. The cool part also about your Instant Pot is if you leave the potatoes or the pot in here, it still keeps warming it, so you're not gonna get a cold dish, okay? Now, here I've got some half and half. I heated this up, okay? And the reason I heated it up is because if you don't heat it up, it'll cool your potatoes off too much. I always say get a little more than you need. See here how I just start stirring? This is how I pour it. Just stir it, just like so. And the butter's in there. Now what I'm gonna do, while it's still piping hot, is add some cheese. This is double cheddar shredded cheese, okay? handfuls of that in there. You know, mashed potatoes is a blank canvas, y'all. You make it how you and your people like it. Now, if you want them more mashed and more smooth or creamy, however you like them, we like them a little rustic like this. If you want them like that, you can go ahead and put them in your hand mixer, your blend, your uh, stand mixer, or use it, whatever you use to whip them up. Did you see this? See how it's absorbing all of that liquid? That's what mashed potatoes do. I'm gonna add some more butter to this now. Yeah, I'm using a stick of butter. It's mashed potatoes. Hello? What else are you gonna use a stick of butter on? <laughs> a little bit more of this cream. Now, you can use half and half. You can use milk. You can use heavy cream. Like I said earlier, any, it's a little hot here. Any cream works, okay? But I'm just using half and half today. Oh, yeah. And as you stir it, that's, oh. Y'all seeing it get that creaminess going in there? Oh, baby. Yes, baby, yes. A little more cheese. Okay, and now I'm gonna also put some fresh cracked black pepper in there to taste whatever you and your people like, all right? And I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because we know potatoes need salt. All right, now let's stir. Oh, <laughs> this is my favorite thing to make in the Instant Pot. I like cooking it, but by far mashed potatoes are my favorite. Look at that, guys. You see how beautiful that is? Let's give this a taste and see if it's where we want it. Okay, I got a little one here. There's a word for that, but this is a family-friendly show. So I'm not gonna use it, but the word you're thinking, it's that one. Oh my God, hit a little more pepper. Guys, what makes these so creamy is first of all, the way the Instant Pot cooks the potato. That's the first thing. The second thing that makes it creamy is using enough cream, half and half, milk, heavy, whatever you use, to get it in there and just, mm. you see how it's got that nice rustic look to it? I love this, oh! All right, y'all, I think I need to go make some meatloaf now. If you're looking for a meatloaf recipe, shameless plug, <laughs> I have a good one. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, my Lord, I'm gonna go have some, a long time with this mashed, with these mashed potatoes, the cheese in here. <laughs> you see how everything just melted? You see this? Everything just came right together. That's it. Nice, rustic, I like my potatoes like that, okay? So, anyway, thank you for joining me, you guys. You do this, I'm telling you, everybody will want you to make the mashed potatoes for every family event there is. Thanks for joining me today in the Love Lab. I'll see you next time for more Calabama cooking with Chef Lorius. Have a wonderful day, have a blessed day, happy cooking.